Welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market, and today is a Goodwill haul. This was a good Goodwill haul. I spent, let's see, $165, and we did have one, two, three, four, eight items that were 50% off. I believe that blue was the color of the week. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in and see all the goodies I got for resale on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, and whatnot. First off, let's talk about the glass in the room because I went in saying, I need more brass, I need more glass, I need Afghans. We didn't find Afghans, but we found brass, we found glass. This was the first piece of glass I found. I think it is Viking, but I am still researching because the shape is a little off from what I've found and the feet are just a little different. So I need to make sure it's not like um, Indiana glass or something like that that was made to look like Viking. It has the uh, embossment on the bottom. I did pay up, I paid $20 for this because it is going to be staying in my collection for a while right up on top there. And it does not glow. There was no glow on that one. I did remember my black light this time. Then I picked up two items from my bedroom makeover. You guys will probably not be seeing that video until maybe June. I was gonna do a week by week update with you guys, but our furniture got back ordered for two months. So instead I'm just gonna do one video that's kind of sped up and you'll see the beginning to the end. So I grabbed this for $6.99. It's been through the washer and dryer already. And it matches the colors in the room, the boho feel we were going for. And it's really big for $7. I was really happy to grab that. And then, now if this doesn't work in the room, I can resell this, but it is a made in Hong Kong. I did pay $13 for it. It is this really cute heart-shaped wicker mirror. And our room theme is mid-century boho. So the furniture is mid-century. And then the decor is kind of Southwestern boho. So now let's get into the good stuff. This piece I've decided to keep for me. So we just went shopping for me basically because I just realized the first three things I've said are, but I have been in search of a pretty turkey platter for Thanksgiving decor that I can use as a centerpiece in my display. And this one is by Caldor Inc. Japan. It was only $7, no chips, no cracks, no issues, which is amazing to find one like this. So I think I'm gonna be hanging on to this for my next Thanksgiving holiday. I won't use a turkey on it, but you'll probably see it displayed right there as a new centerpiece. Then you guys may have seen me look at this and be like, I can't grab it, it's just one. It's been spray painted. Well, I don't think it's been spray painted, but it was only $4.99 and these usually sell for 12 to 18 for me. It's a single home co Trying to find the, this one doesn't have any markings. Usually they say Home Co or Dart Industries, but just a little boho wall mirror. So I did grab that. And then I found another tray. This one I will ship, cause it's metal. It's by um, Show Pants Sanko Wear Japan. Now I've seen this poppy pattern before. I feel like I've had a casserole or something in this poppy pattern, but I figured metal can't go wrong. Trying to ship that shouldn't be too difficult. Then we got some art. This was $5.99 and I picked it up. This is a needle point. Actually, yes, it's a needle point. And I just picked it up because I really love the colors. I thought it was really cute. It has a little bit of that Southwest boho. I liked the bright yellow, I liked the glass, I liked the matting, and it was reasonable at $6. I can post this at 20 to 25, and that should bring in a good return. Then for Christmas in July, I found a wreath. So this is, I'm a sucker for these handmade pieces. This one was $5, and I guess it hangs by this, and it's a nice quilted wreath. So that'll be coming about in Christmas in July. Now, I forgot scissors, so I'll be right back. I do have a bunch of bubble wrap in here because I tried to kind of protect stuff when I took it out. I put them in bins in my garage until I'm ready to do the haul video. So I've got kind of bubble wrap everywhere. 
All right, so this was originally 20 and I would not have paid 20 for it, but I picked it up for $10 and I liked it because of the blue glass coloring. And woo, buddy, does it stink. So it was saved and never used. So it's clear, but in the light, it has a light blue hint to it. And you have the main bowl and a whole bunch of like small bowls. So it's the whole set and you can kind of see, maybe it is just clear glass and my brain is just playing tricks on me. But I could swear it has a blue hue to the edges. Can you guys kind of see that? It's got a little bit of a blue hue. I may have just ended up picking up a whole clear glass bowl set, but I swear there's like a blue, hint of blue. So I'll have to see, do some research. It's got like a, yeah, it's got like a soft blue hue to it. So that's why I grabbed it, $10. We'll see what happens. We'll see if that was a, a yay or a nay. And again, going with the Southwestern, um, I, this beautiful ceramic piece. Now this would actually match my bedroom makeover. It was $8. So I don't know if this is gonna end up as a decorative piece in my bedroom or online, probably online. And then what I'll do is I'll raid my shops for decor when I'm staging for videos. But $8, I figured that'd be a $25 to $35 piece cause it's a nice big natural earth tone. We like that. Garbage. And then I started finding all the brass. Now this is a very lightweight brass one. And this one was $7, but I got it for $3.50. So this is where it was crazy. I was finding all this brass that was 50% off. And this one is a made in India. It is a single, um, but that's okay. We love us some brass. Oh, this one's fragile, so I want to be careful with this. She did put a little paper on the top, but it looks like it's still got chipped. So I thought this was beautiful. It's a calla lily jar. It's a really pretty calla lily jar. $5, I got it for $2.50, I believe, because it's blue tag. So let's see, $4.99, did I have? Yep, I got it for $2.50. So we're gonna have a moment of truth and see if we open this, because there's tape and everything else. And it got chipped, of course. So there is one little chip to the corner right there. But other than that, and it's um, made in Portugal by Lou Carts, made in Portugal, and it's all these beautiful calla lilies. So I thought that was pretty. Now it does have a little chip on the back right here too. So we've got two chips going on and I actually need to save that paper. So I know what I paid for it when I do inventory. So we're just gonna stick that down inside. Super cute, super cute. Oh, and now there's another chip I just noticed. See, this is why I shouldn't pick up this. There's another chip on the inside right here. So it's hard with this Portuguese ceramic, but you can't see that chip, but that other corner one is kind of noticeable in the front. So I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see about that one, what happens. So let's see, I did pick this up, which needs a little bit of love. I think someone, so someone used this as a candle warmer. It was $1.99 and it is signed and it's this beautiful art pottery piece and it's got a flower frog in the center. So someone obviously had a candle on there, maybe burning it. But um, I thought, I thought it'd be different to give that a shot. And it's got a very nice signature on the bottom. If I move the tape. It's a very clean piece, very nicely done. There's the signature for $1.99. I was not about to pass that up. And then you guys know me, my Arc France. I love these guys, $5. This is a one liter, one and a half liter. I will list that for 20 to $25. So the little ones sell for 10 to 12 for me. The medium ones sell for 15 to 20 and the big ones usually sell 25, 25-ish for me is what I usually max out. So we got those and now that bin is done. And let's see what else. We did find quite a bit of glass this night, I think, which was nice. This might be more of it. Yep. So this is, this was, was this actually 99 cents? 
or was this $6.99? Okay, I think this was $6.99, but it's a pretty blue paperweight, probably China. Of course, there's a little tiny chip in the bottom now because by the time you get it home from Goodwill, is that a chip on the side? All right, so it does have a little mark on the side, but it's a pretty blue paperweight with like these yellow and green kind of flowers in it. And then this we're gonna open and see if it was a good or a bad buy. So to me, this is a perfume bottle. It is marked Dynasty Gallery Heirloom Collectibles for Collectors Around the World. It was $6.99 and the way it's wrapped on top makes me think it has some sort of a stopper. So I don't wanna, and this is gonna be a nightmare to clean because they've got tape all over this. But I mean, look at that beautiful blue, guys. So let's see, let's see, very careful here. They use painter's tape, yes. I think it is, guys. And there's just one little tiny chip on the bottom, but there's no other issues. So that, oops, aw man. The, the tape is taking the label off the bottom. So I'm gonna have to do this carefully, but it is, I was right, it is a perfume bottle. So that was a good find. So how are we gonna do this carefully? I think I got a lot of dishware, if I remember right. Yes, so I grabbed these and I don't think I tested them. They were $4.99 and I think they have markings on them. Actually, they're Pyrex, Pyrex USA, but I was hoping, oh, I don't think they glow, guys. But these are Pyrex USA green plates. I thought that was different. I wanted to research them. They don't appear to glow, though, which is a bummer. So they're just some nice green bowls, Pyrex glass. You know me. All right, what else can we carefully get out here? Ooh, I think I found more brass. Yes, and this one, I'm gonna have to see if I can tighten it a little bit. Um, I think the screws may be stripped, but this was $4.99 and it's a deer. I mean, for $5, guys, yeah, I think the, the um, back is very loose. I'm gonna have to mess with that and maybe get some new screws for it. Um, but it is a deer candle holder. So you could put little candles and then it flickers with the deer for $4.99. I was like, yes, please put it in the cart, put it in the cart. We've got some more brass staring at us here. I did end up grabbing that single shell for $6 because you never know, someone may just want a single shell for their display. And then I grabbed this guy because he was only $3. And it's kind of more of that like aluminum. It's like a, an aluminum piece and it's it got pretty bent, bent up. But it was only $2.50. So it's a little wall duck scene. Get those bent back correctly. And it's got some brass and copper on it. It's got the little hook on the back and it is a little swan. So I thought that would be pretty. It's very, very lightweight, which is nice to have something lightweight for the shop. There it is. And then I picked up this little cute, friendships are made to be treasured, a little cross stitch for $2.99. Um, this one's a cross stitch because you can tell it's made with X's as opposed to that yellow print I had where it was very definite squares. This is made with X's, so it's cross stitch. Super cute. And then of course we got a bag of wood napkin holders. Very boho, summer's coming. It was $5. So you know me, I love my napkin rings. Let's see how many sets we got for $5. We got one. Ok, 
Okay, that one's missing something. That one doesn't look like it quite goes. We got an eight piece dark wood set, so that's two. <clears throat> this is made in Indonesia. I'm happy that these are good. We got the wood. So that's four. One, two, no. I can't count guys, that's three. This was in there, but it doesn't match. And then there's just these three random silver ones, which this will probably be like a donate back because I don't really. So for $5, we got three sets. That's like a dollar something per set, $10, $12 online. Not gonna fuss about that. I like those sort of numbers. And then I got these because people always love these. These are the vintage um, the wicker plate holders in the rainbow colors. These are hard to find. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for eight dollars. They were a dollar each. So that's a good find. I will sell those as a lot. Um, then I picked up this. This was four dollars and it is a little cherub playing um, the harp uh, candle snuffer. And candle snuffers do well for me. I've sold them for 12 to $20. So at $4, that's right in the right price point. There was another one there. They had it priced up and I just, I couldn't touch it. So we grabbed that one. And then we got the Mama Jamma. This is the big one, guys. Look at this beauty. Now I paid $20 for this peacock, but, um, it's, it's good. It's a good one. I think there may be a little issue on the back of the leg right here, but I am going to list him at at least $55 to 60 because it's a large piece. It's an action road runner. Did I call it a peacock? It's a road runner. Road Runner. So I was willing to pay $20 because a piece this size could easily be listed for 50 to 80. And I just have to do some more comps. All right, now I think we're getting into all of those plates we were digging. And you guys were helping me find. But first, I'm very excited about these because these go to the tea set from one of my other videos. And I was hoping there'd be six of them, but there's only five. So I don't have all the saucers, but um, that's okay. And these were $2.50, which is awesome. So I found the teacups that go with this coral barrier reef set at another time at the Goodwill. I found the um, six piece teacups and I got the cream and sugar and I didn't realize the cups had saucers until I looked online, but now I have five of the six saucers to go with it. And at 250, that's, that's reasonable. That's very reasonable. Then I got a whole bunch of this kind of Studio Nova 80s revival. Um, I'm sorry, this one's Mikasa Intaglio uh, by John Bergen, Japan, safer microwave oven, oven to table to dishwasher. It's got that great 80s airbrush and these are bowls. There were four of those. And I also found, and those were $3. $3 because they were 50% off. These were $3 because they were 50% off. It's another set of four bowls. So I will sell those as two separate sets of four. And then for 50% off, like I found all the 50% off dishware. These were $3. It's the four dinner plates. So that's it guys. That was the Goodwill haul. I thought it was good. I really loved everything I got. Of course, the biking glass is my favorite. I'm a little bummed the calla lily jar is damaged, but we still got a lot of good things. So if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button guys, and I'll be back with you all soon.